So I found something really interesting while testing with this larger wing. So the mini qubit has this rotor and wing interaction effect, right? Because we've got four rotors, which are in a quadrotor configuration, and then we've got a wing directly behind the rotor. So what I noticed was that there's definitely some sort of interactions at play between the rotor and the wing, while the rotors are spooling up and providing downwash over the wing. And these effects seem to be not negligible. So. Um, one instance of seeing this in play is that when I'm in hover and the vehicle is uh, pointing straight upwards with the rotors perfectly parallel to the ground and the wings producing lift like this in this direction, the whole vehicle will actually translate in, in to the left in this case. And so that is due to the fact that the wings are producing lift due to this rotor wash. But not only that, I also found some other things. So... I want to briefly explain that. So, but first of all, how, how are we getting lift over the wing? So the rotor is providing downwash over the wing. And so we get a net thrust from the rotor itself, which we can just show like that. So we've got our thrust from the rotor and then we've got our downwash over the wing. So what happens is we actually get some amount of lift from the wing itself by being directly behind the rotor in the, in the prop wash. And so what that means is that we actually get a somewhat of a like resultant force, which kind of acts like this because we have our, um, our lift force and our thrust force. And so we can kind of translate that. And then whatever this amount of lift is uh, here, then we get some amount of resultant, which isn't directly uh, perpendicular to the rotor plane, but it actually has got a bit of an angle to it due to the lift from the wing. So, why is this important uh, for stability? So I actually found that this was very important in stability while testing because, um, and I'll explain it with this diagram here. So essentially for the mini qubit, if I want to roll to the left in this case, looking straight onto the mini qubit itself, then what happens is these two diagonal rudders will spin up. So in this case, they are inward spinning rudders, as should be the case for the mini qubit, just by the way it's designed. So these two diagonal motors will spin up like so, which creates prop wash again over the wing and this on this side of the wing and on this side of the wing. And so we actually get increased lift here which um, is shown here. So we actually get an increased lift here and an increased lift on this portion of the wing. And then on these two motors, these actually wind down. So these, these aren't doing too much for us. So, but what that means is normally you would just be able to roll with the rotor torque and then that would roll you just like a normal quadcopter. But in this case, we get increased lift. So what does that mean? Well, it means if we kind of look at this increased lift as a moment arm, then we get sort of this like force, which is pulling on like a rod, for instance, you can think of it. And so that actually helps us roll to the left. But if we're getting increased lift on the other side on the upper wing here, then we've got the same thing. But in this case, we're, we're counteracting the roll direction, right? So our roll is, is being counteractive. And so this one here is destabilizing. And then this one here is, is, is stabilizing in theory. So that's kind of what I suspect to be the case in this case. Um, so this one counteracts the roll and this one improves the roll. And so how does that kind of correlate to the wing uh, uh, orientation and the configuration of the wings? So for that, I tested multiple different wings to see, okay, is a larger wing on the bottom, AKA like a, I guess, uh, like a like a higher lift producing wing on the bottom better or is uh, a higher lift producing wing on the top better and so in theory a, a higher lift producing wing on the bottom aka a larger wing down here should uh should should uh improve the roll further, whereas with a smaller wing on the top, we should get a smaller lifting force here from this increased lift. So in theory, this lift should be much smaller with a uh, smaller wing on the top, and then with a larger wing on the bottom, this one can be larger. And so therefore, like the net uh, moment from from these two guys here is, is going to be mostly in, in the direction that we're trying to roll. And so I tested that, and sure enough, 
a larger ring on the bottom is, is stabilizing and a larger ring on the top is destabilizing. So in other words, you really, really want a, a larger wing on the bottom and a smaller wing on the top. And so to further kind of uh, prove this theory, I put a inward spinning rotors the way it's shown up there, and I found that the larger wing on the top is unstable and the uh, larger wing on the bottom is stabilizing. And this one flew really, really well, I found. Whereas with the outward spinning rotors, I found that the, this, this orientation and the configuration of these wings was flipped, but, but to, dependent on its stability and instability. So in this case, for an outward spinning rotor, a larger wing on the top was stabilizing and felt really, really well. Whereas with this guy, a larger wing on the bottom was unstable and it was very difficult to fly. So it's very important to match your rotor spin direction with your wing configuration. And this, this rotor wing interaction effect definitely isn't negligible in this case because it, it was pretty much impossible to turn unless you had a, uh, the correct wing configuration here. So if you have two wings uh, on, that are small on the top and bottom, then the effects aren't so, so pronounced. And so you shouldn't have too much of an issue with it. Um, but in this case, when we add the much larger wing on the bottom versus the top, it, it clearly was uh, causing uh, instability issues. And so the workaround to this is to essentially just put a larger wing on the bottom and keep a small wing on the top. That way you get increased lift in general, but you can also maintain stability. So that's why um, you should make sure that you are using a large wing on the bottom for the mini qubit and a small wing on the top. And you shouldn't flip them. You shouldn't put a large wing on the top and a large wing on the bottom because that also I found was uh, destabilizing. This is really the, the best configuration to go with. So, um, yep, that's what I wanted to talk about. I think it's kind of an interesting little conclusion I came up with. And yeah, really what you'd have to do is put this thing in a wind tunnel probably and uh, measure the forces on the wing and get an idea for what how much lift you're actually getting uh, dependent from from the wing dependent on the rotor rpm and the wing type and, and maybe even like the wing incidence angle right so this like incidence angle uh, and how that affects it because potentially your rotor wash can like be pushed down this way and that will also increase your lift so yeah, um, kind of an interesting finding, and yeah, um, that's kind of it for now. Thanks, bye.